Hi. So, so far we built a small application with login feature and um, this application is there to store item lists, an item list and we have multiple users that can log into this application and there's a single item list. So we need to change the way this application is built such that each user can have their own item list. So to demonstrate, so I have my user that I've been using so far and his list of items. If I were to log out and register a new user, say John Doe, then this John Doe should not have access to the same list of items. So the first thing that we need to do is change the way the database handles the items. So let's do this. We open MySQL, the admin panel, which is PHP my admin, and we look at the table item. We need to add a foreign key in this table, which will refer to the user. But before we do add this new field, this new column, we must delete the records. Otherwise, we're going to run into problems when we try to add the foreign key constraint. So let's just check all and delete the records. OK. So we go to structure and we're going to add one column after item ID. This column is going to be user ID and will be an integer. We click save. In the structure of the table, we click on relation view and add a constraint item to user for the column user ID in our test database on the table user, the column user ID. We leave on delete restrict and on update restrict. Save. Good. So the constraint is there and we have updated the table item such that it contains a user ID. Now let's go modify our code. Let's start with the model. The item model. So first and foremost, the method get should not be used uh, in this application, but we certainly want to get the records for a user. So get for user. And let's put a parameter for this get method. The parameter is going to be user ID. Let's take this code and our goal is going to be to run the execute command with that parameter given a where clause where user ID is equal to user ID. Good. So looks okay. Now for the create, since we have added a field for user ID, we need to also insert the user ID as part of the fields and the values. So let's copy the user ID from above, add it after but this time it will be from the object attributes. Find uses the item ID, update uses the item ID, and we are not interested in setting a new user ID for this one. Delete also uses the item ID. So all in all, it looks good. Let's save this. Let's go change the controller now. So, 
as mentioned, we don't want to get all of the records, but we do want to get the records for our user. And we should use the session variable, which is recorded while logging in. This session variable is user ID. But just to check, let's go in our login controller and see what happens when we log in. Session user ID is the user's user ID. So good. Session user ID. So now we're going to get for the index the items that belong to this user. For create, we also need to use that session variable. So we have new item, user ID, which is set to, again, session user ID. And then we create. For detail, edit, and delete, we want to make sure that a user do, does not have access to items that do not belong to this user. So let's add in some code. If the item user ID is not equal to the session user ID, then header location home index return and this code should be used in the edit method as well as the delete method Now for a test. I will delete as the original user. I have deleted all the items when modifying the database. So let's add in my milk and cookies, log out. Go back in as John Doe. I cannot see the items from the other account. Let's get Jane's cookies. So John Doe has Jane's cookies. And the other user cannot see those. So good. Let's make an attempt at locating another user's. So Jane's cookies are item number 23. If I click on details, we can see it plainly here. I get redirected. That's good. Same for edit. Same for delete. Good. Let's try to delete. Jane's cookies. using inspect opening up the body the div the form setting the action to be equal to slash home slash delete slash 23 now if I click delete it will forward the button click to this request and potentially I would have deleted Jane's cookies let's go check J 
Jane's cookies have not been deleted. So good. Our security measure has worked.